happening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi, Hi. it's nice to see you. How are you guys? How are you today, Tommy? Okay. Yeah, are you happy? I'm happy. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, uh, let's start with the class. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you again. How was your weekend, Tommy? Have a great weekend. Yes. How are you guys? You can say right when I when somebody asks you right how are you you know you can answer in different ways right. You can say I'm good, I'm okay, right, happy, fine. Good, happy, right. <clears throat> that is a way you know you can answer that this kind of question, right? How are you today, right? So you're expressing how you feel, how you feel, right? It's the same, right? So this is, um, you know, one possibility, right? You know, one question we tend to use. Um, but also, I was asking you, Ryan, for the weekend. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? To enjoy, you know, on Saturday and Sunday? I, I feel good uh, the weekend. Okay. Amazing. Very good. Well, I hope you could enjoy your weekend. Uh, thank you for joining everybody. We're going to start and well first I will pass the attendance. Please tell me and as soon as you listen to your names, uh say present. All right, let's start. Uh, Carlos Maya. Present teacher. Carlos Guardado. Daniel Isaac. Daniela Asensio. Present. Deborah Lara. Present. Yes. Eva. Presente. Okay. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Carla Rivas. Present. Heidi. Jacqueline. Present. Okay. Javier. Jennifer Mejiver. Present. Jennifer Torres. Jocelyn Martinez. Present. Okay. Jonathan Salinas. Present. Okay. Jose. Present. Thank you, Jose. Jocelyn Timas. Karen Garcia. Present. You, Linda. Present. Lisa Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Margarita. Present. Okay. Mariana. Mariana Venezuela. Present, teacher. Thank you.
Mayra? Present. Okay, Melissa Mendez. Present. Roxana Chavez. Present. Yancy Montes. Present. Jennifer Arevalo. Present. Thank you. And Jeremy. Present. Thank you. ¿A quién he mencionado? Eh, teacher, yo no sé si me mencionó a mí porque ingresé un poquito tarde y había pasado la, empezado la lista. Ya, yeah, Daniel. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, who else? Who else? ¿Qué más se Daniel? Let me know, right? Okay, but let's begin. Uh, let me just open the lab four. Okay, well, this is class number five. Yeah, well, first I want to begin over here, right, with the platform. Uh, tell me, how is everything going? Are we, are we, are we okay? You know, working so well in the platform? Yes. Any questions about the platform? ¿Cómo vamos en la plataforma? ¿Sigo avanzando? Espero hayan podido completar pero la semana pasada el jueves. Yes. Excelente. Eh, hayan podido completar ¿verdad? todo lo querido para la semana pasada, que fue la semana 1. Este día pues damos inicio a la semana 2 y debemos seguir completando. ¿verdad? Vamos a eh, pues, darnos en la sección 3. Sé que aún, ¿verdad? No hemos visto algunas cosas de la sección 2, ¿verdad? Pero igual, está dividido en las dos, en las dos semanas, ¿verdad? Semana 1 y semana 2. Eh, la invitación, ¿verdad? Siempre es poder seguir, ¿verdad? Trabajando en la misma forma. Las, sec las secciones, ¿verdad? En ese caso sería la sección 3, ¿verdad? De, para esa semana. Y har haríamos el mismo. El miércoles. Voy a explicar el meter, ¿verdad? Acá en la clase que tenemos que hacer. Eh, quienes ya hayan avanzado y obviamente ya vayan por así terminó la sección 3. Excelente, ¿verdad? Se puede hacer el meter. Puede hacer, no hay ningún problema. Eh, si desea avanzar, ¿verdad? Eh, como lo mencioné en la primera clase, pero ustedes pueden ir avanzando eh, las secciones y los exámenes. Los pueden ir desarrollando. ¿verdad? Este, no tienen verdad la recepción de o esperarse o todavía no completar la recepción, por ejemplo, se puede ir avanzando, ir avanzando y recuerden que acá se va a ir, verdad, se va a ir compartiendo todo, verdad, el material, eh, y todos los contenidos. Claro, si hay todas sus preguntas, lo pueden hacer saber. Eh, no sé si hay preguntas con respecto a la etcétera. Yo tengo una pregunta. Ya, también. Y para saber en qué porcentaje hemos quedado. Oh, eh, sí. Y en la misma plataforma. Creo que les aparece de esta misma forma, pero claro, algunas bueno, personas no les aparece, el instructor por ejemplo, no les aparece, creo yo. Pero donde, lo, donde es curso, por eso, fechas, todo eso les aparece. Eh, si el manual, ¿verdad? También les aparece lo, lo del manual, ¿verdad? Acá en Progreso pueden ver cómo vamos. En esa opción de Progreso ustedes pueden ver. Eh, revisamos si desaparece, ¿verdad? Le den clic ahí y les tiene que aparecer ese, una barrita, una barras, un gráfico de barras, y cuál eh, les muestra el porcentaje que lleva. Ahí lo pueden observar. 
revisamos bien la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y donde dice progreso, específicamente ahí tiene que estar el eh, um, Bueno, gracias, Tito. Yes. Es muy importante que lo vayamos revisando, ¿verdad? El progreso, cada quien. Por si, ¿verdad? No sé, tuvimos un porcentaje algo bajo. ¿Verdad? Pueden no sé, ustedes eh, revisar y ejercicio, ¿verdad? Ustedes pueden regresar y, y completarlo nuevamente. ¿no? Ustedes pueden ir haciendo los intentos eh, que es necesario, ¿verdad? Si tuvieran alguna respuesta mala, ¿verdad? Ustedes la pueden corregir. Sí. Ok. Una consulta, Ticho. Yes. Eh, cuando uno hace el ejercicio y sale mal y lo vuelve a hacer y sale bien, ¿siempre cuentan las veces que no lo ha hecho o solo la que sale buena? Eh, bueno, como sé, ¿verdad? Estaba volviendo a intentar para obtener un porcentaje eh, más, más alto ¿verdad? O, o el requerido. Ese porcentaje se ve reflejado, ¿verdad? En el, en el cuadro de notas. Entonces ahí no, no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Se toma en cuenta el, el, el intento que he hecho después y posiblemente, ¿verdad? Ahí hay obtenido las buenas. Todo bueno, ¿verdad? Entonces eso se toma en cuenta. El número de veces que usted lo repita no hay ningún problema. No le genera ningún conveniente. ¿Alguien más? ¿General? ¿Preguntas? ¿Plataforma o no de clases? Yo, teacher, una consulta acerca de la aplicación, porque como yo lo hago desde mi celular, entonces encontré esta aplicación de inglés corporativo y los ejercicios del, de la sección 3 los he estado haciendo ahí. No sé si es lo mismo, se aparece en la plataforma, o sea, como que lo estuviera haciendo en la web. Sí, sí, es lo mismo, no se preocupe. Lo mismo lo puede ser desde el celular y desde el todo. Sí. Gracias. Mira, mira, ves usted entra el link que se me ha compartido, que es lo mismo. Sí. Okay. Sí. Okay. Solo que verdad parece diferente y a veces hay unas funciones ¿verdad? que son diferentes. Pero son cositas, ¿verdad? pequeños detalles. Bueno, ¿alguien más? Eh, ya, este, digamos, eh, con esta semana serían ya dos semanas de del curso, ¿verdad? Este, y para poder inscribirnos nuevamente al, al, cur, al nuevo curso, que sería... Bueno, no, no sé. Este, ¿Es dos? Ajá. ¿Cuándo nos podríamos inscribir nuevamente? Y la, la, bueno, la es una pregunta. La vez pasada me, me, me parece que me consultaban, ¿verdad? La semana pasada de, de, acerca de eso. Y les comentaba que por lo general, para, para los módulos, ¿verdad? Acá en el sustantivo, eh, al final, cuando ustedes, ¿verdad? Han completado todo, se les avisa, creo yo, después de que se haya completado el, el módulo, se les notifica, se les contacta, eh, para poder hacer suscripción para el siguiente módulo. Se hace hasta después, porque siempre se toma como un tiempo. Eh, por lo general son un par de días o a veces es una semana, pero es porque eh, se espera el aval de, de, de esa por ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Es por o esos eh, programas, ¿verdad? Son parte de esa por Entonces, se espera que el esa por ¿verdad? Pueda autorizar, pueda dar el aval para poder comentar con eso. Pero sí, ¿verdad? Lo que hay que mantener siempre son las notas. Eso mantenerlo siempre y no haber ningún problema. Debe ser escrita. Eso, cuidémoslo y, y estamos pendientes. Igual voy a consultar, no sé si han cambiado las cositas ahora, ¿verdad? No sé si deben de hacer antes su, eh, ¿verdad? No sé, algo para poder inscribirse. Voy a consultar bien, le aviso. Ah, bueno, gracias, Peter. Yes. Ok, bueno, si, si hay más preguntas, hagamos la verdad con la plataforma, los ejercicios, etcétera. Y con gusto. Eh, oh, ¿alguien, ¿algo más? ¿Perdón? Solo una consulta. Eh, cuando terminemos eh, este curso, uh, vi que quizás hay más, ¿verdad? En principiante. Para pasar al otro nivel, ¿cuántas, cuántas hay que ser de principiante? 
oh, eh, en, 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 su, en su caso, ¿verdad? Este, no hay, bueno, no sabría decirle, pero ahí sí no soy muy seguro en, en cuanto al límite de, de participantes, pero sí sé, ¿verdad? Que a, hay más de 30 versos, más de 30. Acá en el grupo tengo 27. 30, un poquito más de 30. Eso es como... No, eh, es que me, yo abrí mi, mi aplicación en otro teléfono y me aparecía como principiante 1, 2, 3, 4. Es oh. otro grupo, no hay que hacer las demás. Pues son un principiante y pasas al otro nivel. No, eh, hay diferentes niveles. Principiante, eh, pre-principiante, si no me equivoco, se Ajá, le llama sí. pre-principiante, eh, intermedio, pre-intermedio, avanzado, pre-avanzado, si no me equivoco, que así están distribuidos los programas. Ah, okay. Estamos avanzando. Avanzando. Yes. Ok, bueno. ¿Alguien más? ¿Me avisan? Si no, sí, sí. O oh, alguien dice Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Gracias. Teacher, yo. Yes, sorry, Por ejemplo, hasta, hasta ahorita, ¿cuánto deberíamos de tener de puntuación? Hasta ahorita, bueno, ahorita como recién iniciamos, déjeme revisar acá en, en, la, en la forma. Perdón, en el. En A mí el me parece que un 45%. Algo sí, es anda por ahí. Un nivel. Ahorita sí, porque iniciamos, ¿verdad? Porque iniciamos, tienen que tener como un... Ya les digo ahorita. Permítanme. Bueno, el porcentaje, porcentaje, como son cabalas cuatro semanas, ¿verdad? Eh, 100%, ¿verdad? De 4 sería un 25%. Porcentaje. Un 25%. Ahí tenemos que andar, ¿verdad? 25%. Ah, bueno, pues sí, estaba revisando sí. eso y ya me había preocupado <ríe> que sale un 25%. Sí, ahorita como, ahorita como iniciamos, después se va acumulando, ¿verdad? Se va acumulando. Pero ahorita, pero iniciamos. Lo que hay que siempre estar revisando, ¿verdad? Que ese 25%. Entonces voy a cumpliendo cada semana. Well, uh, good afternoon, Heidi and, and Jocelyn. I can see you. Sorry, Jennifer Torres. Sorry. Hi, how are you? Hi. Thank you. How are you today, Tommy? Is Jennifer Mejia right here? Oh, yeah, yeah. See you. Bueno, voy a, a, a dar un double check a la, a la lista. Carlos Bordado, ¿está por acá? Javier. Bueno, un Carlos, escribió, un Carlos se escribió que tiene problemas con la conexión. Oh, bueno, entonces sí, él es, él es pendiente. Bueno, vamos a, a, a iniciar. Please don't forget to use your cameras. Don't forget to use the cameras. Hmm. I saw Jennifer over here. Hi, teacher. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, let's go. Oh, yes. Well, the topic for today is this one. Wax in your back. This and these. Wait. Let's start. Well, today's Monday, July 11th, class five. Let's start. Well, first, I'm going to introduce some vocabulary, right? And then we're going to practice with this, right? This and this, specifically. Okay, first, what's this? What's this? It's a notebook. A notebook, okay. Notebook. This is a, yes, good. An, 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 well, an address book, right? Similar. That is, you know, an address book. An address book. An address book. 
Ajá. over time and a stress Ajá. book. Encima, sobre. I'm sorry? That's an address book, right? Another one? What's this? A camera? It's a camera. Yeah, it's a camera. It's a camera. A camera. 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 Eyes. What are these? Case. Okay, keys. Listen, keys. 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 In this case, it's in plural, right? Plural. Keys. Keys. Right? Because we have three, right? Three keys, as you can see, right? The picture. We have three keys, right? Three keys. Keys. This one? What is this? What's this? Hairbrush. Okay. Yeah, it's a hairbrush. 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 A hairbrush. Nice. Listen again. Listen and repeat. An address book. An address book. A camera. A camera. Camera. Yes. Yes. A hairbrush. Hairbrush. A hairbrush. Next. A cell phone. A cell phone. Okay. Exactly. A cell phone. Telephone. Cell phone. A telephone. Mm, can well, a telephone is different because a telephone is the old one, right? The old one. The one that, you know, we used to use, right, in the past. That is a telephone, right? That's the difference, you know? A cell phone is because, you know, I have a smartphone, right? A smartphone. Smartphone. But a telephone, you know, it's, it's an old one, kind of, right? This is a telephone. Yeah. It's an old, right? It's an antiguo, right? Telephone. Yeah. And cell phone is different, right? This is, you know. And this one has like a different, these are, sorry, different functions. It's a smartphone, right? In other words, because we use applications, etc. A cell phone. This a wallet, a wallet, 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 yes, a wallet, a wallet, a wallet. What are these? Uh, sunglasses, they are some glasses, yeah, they are some glasses. We say some glasses because it's plural. We don't say a sunglasses. It's not possible. A sunglasses is not possible. We say just some glasses because some glasses is plural. And we have the two lens. One lens, second lens, two lens. That's why we say some glasses. Very good. And this one, what's, what's this? CD player. A CD player. A CD player, okay. A CD player, exactly. CD player. CD player. Listen again, listen and repeat. An address book. An address book. An address book. An address book. A camera. A camera. A camera. Yes. 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 A hairbrush. A hairbrush. A hairbrush. A hairbrush. A cell phone. A cell phone. 
a wallet. A wallet. A wallet. A wallet. A wallet. Sunglasses. 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 A CD player. A CD player. The player. A CD player. Very good. Thank you. Well, any yeah. questions about the vocabulary? Questions about the vocabulary? Puede repetir. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, listen. It's again. An address book. An address book. A camera. Camera. Kiss. Kiss. A hairbrush. A hairbrush. A cell phone. Cell phone. A wallet. Wallet, sunglasses, sunglasses, a CD player, a CD player. Teacher, yo sí. tengo una pregunta. Ya, yeah, tell me. Eh, ¿cuál, ¿Cuándo eh, se usa el A y cuándo se usa el AN en, en este caso? Oh, okay. Well, these ones uh, are called right in English. We call them indefinite articles, right? That's the name of the former indefinite articles, air and. And air and, oh, you know, they are used for singular nouns. Only for singular nouns, right? And something that you have to pay attention to this kind of nouns, right, in order to distinguish air and is that A is used, you know, the article A, this one is used for uh, when you have right nouns that, you know, we focus on it, uh, specifically consonant sounds, consonant sounds, right? And N is when you have vowel sounds. That is the way we distinguish, you know, when we use here again, nouns, right? Remember, we have nouns, the nouns are fields. Nouns. For example, we say a book, right? A book. A book. 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 Book has a consonant sound, right? We don't focus on the way the, the, the word is written, right? No nos enfocamos específicamente en cómo se escribe la palabra. Yes, we know that it starts with consonant, right? Book. Sabemos que con el book, perdón, inicia con consonante, sí. Pero no nos enfocamos en eso, nos enfocamos en el sonido. Book, book. It has a consonant sound, right? But what about if you say, right? For example, an orange, right? An orange, orange, you know, has a vowel sound, right? Yeah, it starts with vowel, right? This is a vowel. It's a con... Claro. But we focus on the sound. Why I see the sound? Listen, listen to this. I will say, a university. A university. Right? It's different. Yeah, the word starts with you. It's a vowel, right? Yes, of course. But the sound is, you know, like university, you, you. So the sound is like, you know, like you, university, we focus on it. Acá nos enfocamos en el, en el sonido, no en la, en cómo inicia la palabra. Porque acá la palabra inicia con palabra. No, no se usa and. It's correct. A university, U, university, right? And it's different when you say, right, an umbrella, an umbrella. An umbrella, an umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. It's a vowel sound, right? Vowel sound. 
Um, another example, common example is when you say, right, uh, an honor, right? An honor. An honor. That's like an honor, right? The word honor start, starts with consonant, but the sound is, you know, vowel, vowel sound. Right? It's when either the vocal. In this case, you know, in a way we, uh, you know, we follow, we follow the, the, the rule, right? So the H is silent. That's what we say in Spanish, right? El H is muda. In this case, an honor, an honor. Right. So that's the way you you identify, you know, or you distinguish how to use A or N, A or N. Okay. We focus on the sounds. Nos enfocamos en los sonidos. No en la en cómo inicia la palabra. Tiene que ser con consonante con vocal. En el sonido. University. Ok. What about when you say a house? A house is we use a because the sound is house. 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 Right? We don't say you know, in this case, it's honor, right? Honor. But this is this is house. 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 We have a consonant sound. Tenemos un sonido de consonante en ese caso. La H en ese caso en el mood. It's, it's different in English. It's different. In Spanish, yeah, of course, you know, the H is silent, right? In Espanol, claro, la, la H es muda. Siempre, ¿verdad? Eh, pero en inglés sí tiende a cambiar el sonido. That is a way. Questions? That's what we say, right? Teacher, An address book. Yes. Teacher, entonces el ejercicio que aparece sería en This is English in the book. Sería um, You say this is an English book? Uh -huh. This is is, y ahí hay que poner a o a. An English book. English book. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Exactly. But if yeah, you say this, uh, this is a math book, it's, a, it's different. This is a dictionary. It's a. A, yes. This is a consonant sound. This is an English book. This is a math book. This is Oh, yeah. This is an encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Yeah, I think it's. And this is in the book. It's a. This is in the book. Yeah, this is a book. It's a. Yes. This is an English book. This is a math book. This is a dictionary. This is an, 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 an encyclopedia, sorry. This is an encyclopedia. And, and this is a not, notebook. It's um. A, no A, because it's a consonant sound. Simple, okay. Notebook, Thank you. notebook, you're welcome. Okay. Well, now that we have the vocabulary and we have clarified, you know, the way we use A or N, we're going to move on to the next part, right? Ahora que hemos clarificado y clarificado, clarificado, ¿verdad? La duda del compañero, we're going to the next part, right? And let's start using this and this, right? Okay. This and this. 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 Yes, this, this, yes, this. The pronunciation is similar, right? Similar, but this one is, you know, a shorter, right? The pronunciation is shorter, yes, yes. And this one is longer, this, this. Right? La pronunciación es diferente en cierto modo, es similar, 
pero lo que cambia es que es para una es la superior más extensa. Diez. Eso, perfecto. Diez. Diez. And this one is, you know, faster. This. This. Eso es más rápido, ¿verdad? Diez. 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 Right. We use uh we use this and this this and this right when you have you know when the when the objects are near you right close to you close to you right so you can talk about different things right for example let me see if you can see my my okay I can say right. This is my cell phone. So I have the cell phone in my hand, right? In my hand. This is near me, close to me, close to me. This is my cell phone. But if I talk about, you know, different objects, imagine that I say, you know, I can see, right, some cell phones. Buddha, right? These are cell phones, for example, right? Or I have, but let's say, let me see if I can find some objects here. Um, yeah, I have some. Okay, for example, if I I have uh some markers, right? Some markers, markers. So I said these are markers. These are markers, right? And the markers are close to me. They are here, near me, right? Están cerca, cerca de mí, right? Actually, I have them in my hands, right? De hecho, los tengo mis manos, verdad? Manos. Es como decir plural y singular. This yeah, is singular this. plural. Exactly. Uh, this is for singular. This is a marker. This is a marker, right? But then if I want to say, uh, I want to refer to these three markers, right? Okay. These are markers. These are markers. Let me write a yes over here. You can have uh, Uh, yeah, this, as Lisa said, is for singular nouns, and these is for plural. And I can say, right, this is a marker, right? It's just one, right? Look at me, just one, right? This is, I have it, I have it in my hand, right? In my hand, it's near me, near me, it's acerca de me, right? Near me. This is a marker. But if you want to say, you know, I have more than one, maybe three, four, five markers, okay, these are markers. Now it's included. Because I have three, right? Three markers. Guys, these are markers. These are markers. Right? Guys, this is a marker. This is a marker, right? It's just one and one and singular, singular, right? That is a way. I'm saying this, you know, near that the objects are close to me because we have that in those. But we'll see those ones there, right? That in those means that you have things far from you, right? For example, that is a, a TV, right? I can say the TV is over there, it's far from me, right? To use that that is for singular and those is for plural but the objects are far from me in ese caso los objetos están a una cierta distancia no están cerca de mí ni están en mis manos por that is a tv those are uh cell phones right those are uh cars for example i don't know eso lo vamos a ver más adelante ahorita solamente en eso vamos a enfocar con eso Let me give you some ideas over here, right? A bowl, right? And they are called, guys, the most, you know, adjectives, so the adjectives. This is a bowl, singular, and plural, these are bowls. We have two, right, as you can see. The bowl, plural, these are bowls. 
types. Okay. That is the way. Any questions? Yo creo que tengo una, teacher. Ya, yeah, también. Ajá, eh, con relación, vaya, aquí vemos en el singular que es this is about. Pero eh, cuando uno se refiere a este es un balón, uno usa el, el it en, del verbo to be, ¿verdad? It, it's about, si no me equivoco. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's possible, it's possible, you can say that. Ajá. You can say, yeah, sorry. Y, Y en, en, en este caso, cuando uno está usando el this, eh, ya no se usa el it, sino que directamente se usa is. ¿El is? O sea, no se... It. Ajá, eh, ya, no, ya no se tendría que usar el, el it, ya no se usaría, sino que directamente se usaría is para decir this is a ball. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, you can say this is a ball. That's one, one action, right? And the second action is it is a ball. All the correct. All the correct. Amazon correct us. And you, 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 you don't use, right? If you use this, you don't have to use it, right? You don't have to say this, it. It is a ball, right? That is the possible. The ball, or it is a ball. Se puede, se puede usar, o, o es incorrecto. Entonces, this, it's a ball. Yeah, it's incorrect. It, it's not possible. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Because this, you know, is another way to say it, right? For example, wait. Okay, thank you. You walk in. Yeah, you can use both. They are correct. Yeah. Okay. It, for example, if you use this, these are balls. You can say they are they are balls, right? All the correct. All the correct. These are balls and they are balls. All the correct. You can use both. When we say ambos. Okay. Any questions? Somebody else? Let's practice, let's practice. Okay, if you see that the object, right? And I ask you, well, or I, I can say, right? This is a cell phone, right? This is a cell phone again, right? This is a cell phone. This is a cell phone. No, it's singular, right? Singular cell phone. And remember the object is near you, right? Close to you. Siempre recordemos que el objeto está cerca de ustedes o lo tienen en sus manos, posiblemente. What about if I say, over here we don't say this, this is a sunglasses. That is not possible. To we'll say these are sunglasses, right? Because sunglasses is plural. Again, we have one lens and the second lens, right? Two lens. That's why it's plural, right? The same with gyms, right? We don't say a gyms, we say gyms because we have right to pair, right? It's plural. We don't say a gyms, gyms. These are gyms, we say, right? These are gyms because it's plural, right? These are sunglasses. We don't say this is a sunglasses or we don't say these are a sunglasses. It's the positive. To say this or some glass. Any questions? Teacher. Yes. Eh, si fuera solo uno, si eh, se pudiera con el this. This is a uh, some glasses. O cómo sería? No. If you want to use it in singular, you can say. You can use it, but you can you need to say this is a pair some glasses. That is different. That is singular, yes. It's possible, but you have to say this pair of some glasses. Okay. The same with choose, right? You know, choose is plural. 
but if you want to say it in, in well, you have to say it, right? Of course, you have to say, these are shoes. And we don't say, this is a shoes. If you want to say it in singular, you, you can say, this is a pair of shoes. It's different. And that is singular. Okay. Yes. En algunas ocasiones, algunos, eh, algunas formas son posibles en singulares, ¿verdad? Pero hay que cambiar totalmente. En caso de a pair of chooses, es different. The singular. I mean, that is countable, specifically. Like countable now. Es un sustantivo contable. Teacher, eh, entonces, no... en, la, en la conversación, en la conversación que nos aparece, es de que si, uno, si está cerca o si está lejos, por eso dice... What, what is this? What's this? What's this? Dice aquí, también dice, what are these? Oh, what, what are these? What are these? Uh -huh. Yes, that is in the next slide. You know, we, we start asking questions, right? This is the way you ask questions. And you can say, well, what's this? Or, you know, if you have an object in yourself, in your hand, sorry. If you have a, an object in your hand, you can say, right, hey guys, what's this? What's this? You can say right x wallet right x. what's this wallet guys what's this what's this x look at me look at me look at the camera what's this it's a cell phone it's a cell phone exactly it's a cell phone i can ask you more questions right and i can say guys what's this what's this it's a marker. It's a marker, exactly. Uh, what's this? What's this? It's a mouse. It's a mouse. It's a mouse, exactly. Uh, what's this? It's a TV control. Exactly, it's a TV control. Right? It's a TV control. Um, well, you know, I can continue right with, with more objects. This is the question What's this? But that is for singular. That's for singular. What's this? What's this? What is this? What is this? Or what's this? That is a contraction. What's this? It's a wallet. What's this? You say, right? It's a cell phone. Cell phone, right? But if you ask for things in plural, as you know, so I was asking. You can say, right, look at the picture and you say now, nah, right, what are these? We don't say, what's this? You say, what are these? Because we have put out. And we say, they are or their kids. They are or their kids, right? Because we have three three kids, right? You can see in the picture, we have three kids. One, two, three. Three kids, right? Okay. Uh, I can ask you, you know, more questions and I can say, guys, what are these? They are out there. They're, they're markers. markers. Exactly. They're markers or they are markers. Very good. That is the way now. You know? What are these? They're markers. Or they are markers. You know? It's the same. All right. Those are the contraction. It equals it is. It equals it is. Uh, there equals they are. There equals they are. What equals what is. What is. What is. You know, we use them. We use the contraction. Como lo mencionamos la, 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 las clases pasadas, pero la semana pasada y empezamos bastantes contracciones. Podemos utilizar, claro, que sí, las dos correctas. Para speaking, si utilizamos más contracciones, ¿no? sí. para poder hablar de una manera rápida, fácil. Claro, pero no ir corriendo, ¿verdad? Eso es la El fluido se refiere a poder expresar las ideas muy claramente, ¿no? claro, que nos puedan confundir, ¿verdad? Veamos en ese pues, ritmo, ¿verdad? ritmo natural, claro, 
eh, una sociedad tratada de cuando se refiere fluido, no quiere decir que tiene que ir, ¿verdad? Que alguien lo va siguiendo. Tiene que se refiere a eso. ¿Okay? Si las contracciones nos ayudan a eso, pues son las ideas más claras, más, más fluido. ¿Ok? ¿Any questions? No, teacher. No. Okay, let me give you more uh, examples. Why? Right? What's this? It's a CD player. It's a CD player. Yes. It's a CD player. It's a CD player. Nice. Um. What are these? <laughs> Or this. These are some glasses. These are some glasses. Good. They are some glasses. Be the same. These are some glasses. They are some glasses. All the correct. Nice. Let me see. I didn't have uh, more. Yeah. What's this? This is the camera. Yeah. Okay. It's a camera, right? This is a camera or it's a camera, right? The same. It's a camera. Right. What are these? It's a shoes. That's the shoes. They are shoes, exactly. They are shoes. Other shoes. Right. Because it's plural. It's plural again, right? But if you want to say what's this, it is possible, right? What's this? And you can say it's a pair of shoes. Right. Okay. Yeah, you can say, right? What's this? Yes. According to this photo, right? According to this photo. Tomando en cuenta esa imagen, ¿verdad? Simplemente tenemos el, 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 ese caso los zapatos, ¿verdad? Eh, what's this? And you can say, well, it's a pair of shoes, right? It's possible. That, that is way. Okay. Teacher, I have yes. a question. Sorry. Tell me, tell me. Sorry. Uh -huh. eh, en este caso, veo que zapatos se usa el dayer. Eh, pero, bueno, desde el principio vimos que lead es para referirnos a animales, cosas o situaciones. En este caso, sí se puede usar el day para en este, unos zapatos. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. I got you, I got you. Uh, eat, yeah, it's for animals, right? Animals, objects, and things in general, you know, things in general. Um, and they, yeah, well, most of the times when they, we associate they with people, right? People. They are Carlos and Gabriela. They are my parents. Uh, they are, you know, famous actors, etc. But they can be used right, for objects too, objects and things in general. And you, you know, refer to a plural, right? Plural. For example, we choose, we use they. They are choose, right? We're referring to the object specifically. Okay, you can use they. Yeah. El they, verdad, siempre lo asociamos a, a la mayoría, verdad, los, los subject pronouns. Los asociamos a, a, a personas, ¿verdad? Claro, esa es la forma. Pero el day, bueno, el lead, ¿verdad? siempre se utiliza para objetos, cosas, animales, lugares, etc. Y el day, ¿verdad? Siempre lo asociamos a personas, ¿verdad? Claro, esa es la, la forma. Pero también se puede utilizar para objetos, ¿verdad? los animales. ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso también sería correcto poner it. It, sorry. Sí, en el caso de los zapatos, ¿sería correcto también utilizar el it? But if you say it's a pair of shoes. Cualquiera de los dos. But if you say it's a pair of shoes, you can use it, yes. You can use it. Como it uh, shoes. Mm, no. No. No, it's no, not possible. No. Okay. no. It's a pair of shoes, yes. Eh, ya cambia la oración si ponemos el it, ¿verdad? Yeah, because it's singular. It's for singular. Right? In this case, uh, this uh, sentence specifically is correct. It's possible. 
acá se es correcto. Tendría que ¿verdad? hacer énfasis que es un par de zapatos, o sea, ¿verdad? Exactly, exactly. O sea, yes. teacher, que en este caso el it nos va a servir a nosotros siempre y cuando nos refiramos a, a singular, pero si eh, ya usamos un plural, podemos usar el they. Yes. Ok. Exactly. That is a way. That's a way. Perfect. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Well, listen. Eh, well, any, anybody else? Sorry, questions. Anybody else? else? Somebody else? No. Okay. What I want to do on the next uh, slide, you know, this is the last part, by the way. I need you to complete these exercises in your notebooks, right? Or you can take a screenshot if you want or a photo, right? I don't know. Okay. I need you to look at the pictures, right? Look at the pictures. And look at this, you know, uh, short conversations, right? Short conversations. We have the question and the answer. We don't question and answer, question and answer, right? I need you to complete according to the pictures, look at the picture, and you know, as as well. Construct the question and the answer, right? For example, number one, number two are given. Number one says, What are these, right? Because plural, their kids. Number two, what is this? See the play, right? Then number three. Four, five, and six. All right. Write the question and then the answer. Question, answer, question, answer. Based on the photos. I will give you some time. Please start working in your notebooks. Write the question, the answer. Question, the answer. All right. Go ahead. Start working. I will give you, you know, some time, just a few minutes because it's almost time. All right. Go ahead. Start working, start working.
Did you finish? Did you buy there? Well, we'll do something because it's time. We're going to complete a right here. We're going to complete number three, right? And I will ask you, please, everybody, to send the responses for four, five, six in the WhatsApp group, right? We're going to send the questions and the answers in the WhatsApp group, number four, five, and six. We're going to complete just number three in class, you know, right here before to go. The sixth time, and you know, you will help me. Well, number one is right. What are these? They are keys. They are keys. Number two, what's this? CD player, right? Number three, what are these? What are these? What are these? And what is the answer? There are backpacks when it's okay. You say backpacks, right? Backpacks. Okay. But in this case, it's okay. It's okay. But in this case, they are backs. They are backs. They're backs. They're backs. Right. What are these? They're backs. We have two, right? Yeah, it's plural. But the answer is they are right. And the question is, what are these? Very good. What are these? They're bats. Bats, technically. That's why. Excellent. Well, any questions? What? What's this? Oh, number four? What? This okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Again, please. What's this? A clock. It's a clock. Mm. Okay. It's a clock. It's a clock. It's a clock. Well, listen. This one is not a clock. I mean, a clock. You want to explain? A clock is the one that you use on the wall, right? On the wall. And it, the one that you use, oh, sorry, you wear in your hand, wear in your hand is a watch. This one. That is a watch. So in that case, it's a watch, right? A clock is the one that you use on the wall. The clock is like something about it. Watch is the one that you wear in your hand. All right. That is the answer. Five, let's go, let's go. What is this? What is this? It's, it's a cell phone. phone. Very good, very good. Cell phone. Amazing. And the last one. What are these? They're sunglasses. Excellent. Good job, good job. What are these? I would say uh, there's some, some glasses, right? That is why. Okay, we complete, right, the exercises. Listen, what I want to do now on your own, you know, at your house, sorry. I need you to, let me see in the chat. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Thanks. Let's see who else. Thank you, Jonathan, Jeremy, uh, Lisette, Lorilla, thank you. Glass. Yeah, but glass in that case is different, right? Glass is another thing. It can be possible, glass. Glass is the one they use right, for drinking water. For drinking water, right? Also glass. In ese contexto, si sería posible, Jonathan, glass is different, right? Es diferente, depende del contexto también, ¿verdad? Paso, class. Es posible, en inglés, 
But glasses is different, right? Glasses. That is plural. That is plural. Okay, what I want to do now, and this is a practice for you. In your house, you're going to select different objects, right? Different objects, you know, different objects, right? And I need you to practice, right? I need you to ask a question, what's this? Uh, it's a watch. What are these? Oh, these are markers. Uh, what's this? Cell phone, right? Cell phone, et cetera. You know, I need you to practice. Ask a question, answer, question, answer, question, answer. Ahora es tu, ¿verdad? Van a hacer caso. Van a practicar. Estén diferentes objetos, hagan preguntas, respuestas. Pregunta. Okay. That will be the practice for today. Any questions? No, coach. No. Okay. No. Oh, nice. No. Amazing. No. Well, guys, eh, you know, this is over today. We're going to start here because it's time. Eh, I just want to verify something that everybody is on my list. Excellent. Carlos Guardado, so no. No. Oh, no. Oh, uh, well. Okay, okay, guys. Six to seven. Well, we're going to start right here. Thank you so much for being here. You know, it's a pleasure to see you know to see you again during this week. I will see you tomorrow at one p.m. More time, right? Practice, guys. Complete the platform. Oh, and remember, I almost forget this. Eso lo que olvidaban. No se les olvide enviar el comprobante. Se les puede hacer una foto que tenían antes de la topa. Creo que lo han enviado. Comprobante del manual. Please. Si no, ¿verdad? Pues contactemos a alguna, la, a alguna autoridad, ¿verdad? En el superativo y hagan saber por qué no se lo han enviado. Para que se lo puedan reenviar. Roxanne, no sé si tiempo. No, ok. No. Bueno, eh, si no lo han enviado, ¿verdad? Contacten a alguien de eh, ingreso colectivo para entregar el comprobante del manual para que lo reenvíen a la que sí, para enviar. Yeah. Ok. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here. I will see you tomorrow at 1pm. Have a nice day. Stay safe and blessed. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. See ya.